kept saying, we'll pay the bearer on demand, even when our gold standard went away. We said, we'll pay to the bearer on demand, $20, and we'll go to money, which meant I could take this in and go get my silver. But today, when I pull this out of my gold pool, it still says Federal Reserve Bill. But it says nothing else on it. It doesn't say anything about will promise to pay the bearer or nothing. Now, my question then, and I might want to comment on one great thing here that Ludwig von Mises said that I just love, and that is the government or the Federal Reserve is the only body that can take a perfectly good piece of paper, put printing on it, and make it work for some people. <laughs> I really was a little happier in the third phase of your four phase uh, 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 of, uh, of uh, currency or Federal Reserve note issues. When people used to say to me, well, what does that, when it says we'll pay the bearer on demand, what, what's that going to pay in? I used to say, well, we'll give you some more Federal Reserve notes. Uh, and that's, uh, that's the very case. The very fact of the matter, that's all we undertake to do. Uh, the government undertakes to receive those Federal Reserve notes in payment of taxes. People do sell their services, their goods and services, for those Federal Reserve notes, and that's how you're able to go to the grocery store and use them, uh, and, uh, and any other place you might want to go and use them. And as far as the matter of confidence in the currency is concerned, sir, I think you're putting a great deal. Uh, on the symbolism of a little bit of gold uh, that, uh, that, is, uh, that it may be behind the thing. In the last year, in the last two years, tens of billions of dollars have flowed to the United States from people elsewhere in the world who felt that this was a much better system than what they could have confidence in at home. Well, one way to say something about how long will it they accept it. They will accept it as long as it's legal tender and has behind it the coercive power of government. Leland? Leland? Legal tender, not uh, salivation. Yes. Leland? That's a very good question, and I don't have an answer to it. I think that the 
system, of course, has grown more and more complicated, and the issues that the public has to decide have grown harder and harder and more technical over time. Uh, you can't hardly give a, uh, a, a fair, objective statement of trade-offs to the public. There isn't agreement within the economics profession, for example, as to what a trade-off is. Uh, and, uh, and therefore, one can't say, would you rather have more inflation or more unemployment? Uh, or would you rather have, uh, because people wouldn't agree that over the long run, more inflation is associated with more unemployment. And so I can't think of the way to state the big issues in terms that would be objective on which there could be enough agreement to state them. And therefore, my view of the matter is that, uh, that if the people don't like the way things are going, what they ought to do is throw the rascals out. Uh, Mr. Paul would like to comment on this. Yes, I, I will. Be, is, is this microphone on? Yes, it's on. Yeah, it's on. Okay. Um, I wanted to comment on this in general because, uh, again, there is an area that we do have agreement, and I think it's important that we do find the areas that we do agree, and that is when Governor Partee says it's not only the politicians, it's what the political system is demanding and what the public wants. And I think that's why a group like this is so important, because what you're doing is you're changing perceptions. You did not exist. Groups like this did not exist 20 and 30 years ago. So therefore, maybe I will have my way someday, mainly because you're existing and that the public perceptions will change. And it is absolutely true the politician only reflects the public view. So I do think that's very, very important. And, uh, but uh, I think we're in a transition period now, which is, is critical to our nation. I would like to address very, very quickly about the interest rate. I think that we can go by past record and show that under gold standard interest rates were low. I don't think you have to have a collapse of the money system if you go to a gold standard. All you have to do is adjust your definition. If you had to use a government gold standard and not use the ounce, you could certainly define the dollar as one fifteen hundredth of an ounce of gold rather than one four hundredth, and all of a sudden you have an unbelievable amount of credit that would and uh, currency that wouldn't uh, cause a collapse. Just, uh, uh, I would just want to re respond with an anecdote. I don't think that uh, that, the, that the political process uh, is uh, is tolerant uh, to the uh, anymore uh, to the loss by the public of sizable amounts of uh, of their money or what they regard as their cash balances because of the abuse or the misperformance of the banking community. As one uh, example of that, I've been seriously. Uh, uh, seriously uh, questioned uh, over the last few weeks by one of the congressman's uh, associates on the House Banking Committee as to whether we shouldn't require that all banks be insured by the FDIC because there was a bank in his district uh, that went down uh, and it turned out that it, didn't, it wasn't insured and it didn't have the money to pay its depositors. I really think there's very little sensitive a sensitivity or, or a appreciation on the part of the public to absorbing the kinds of losses that they used to take fairly normally as a result of collapse of banking of banks and banking systems. Uh, so I, uh, uh, I, I just don't think there's an awful lot of percentage in it. Now, you're going to tell me that we've counterfeited a lot of money by printing a lot of Federal Reserve notes. And I don't disagree that we've printed a lot of Federal Reserve notes, but it's nothing compared to what the uh, banking system left to its own devices might have done. We are basically trying to limit the growth in money and credit. 
And we do limit the growth in money and con credit compared with what it would otherwise be. We are bothered once in a while by strong demanders like the U.S. government. Uh, but uh, nevertheless, you know, we have even uh, paid not much attention to their needs uh, in the last few years, and that's why interest rates have been as high as they've been. I'm very sorry, but we're going to have to stop. We have to be out of here at 5.30, and that is that.